Hi guys, my name is Corinne and today I'm going to show you how to assemble your Caliger clothing ringer. Alright, let's quickly go over what is included in the box. Um, obviously you have the ringer itself. You have the two clamps, the two bolts that go with the clamps, the drain plate, the handle, the hardware to go with the handle, the pressure adjustment knob that goes on the top, the rubber wedge to go under the tilt plate, and two Allen wrenches. So a lot of this assembly is pretty self-explanatory. The main reason for this video is to show how to install the drain plate because we have had some customers have a hard time with that. Um, but before you can even attempt to get the drain plate in, you need to secure your ringer. So get the clamps on if they're not already on and secure it to something so it's really sturdy because that is really the best way to get the drain plate in because you need to apply a little bit of pressure. All right, real quick, I am just gonna show you how to install the clamps. It's really simple. Um, depending on what surface you're gonna attach it to, if you're gonna do a horizontal surface like me, I'm gonna attach it to this countertop. You're gonna want it to go this direction. If you're gonna do like a five gallon bucket or galvanized tub or something like that, you're gonna want it to go that direction. Okay, so it's really easy. You just put the bolt through. You're gonna grab the larger of the two Allen wrenches. You're gonna line it up. And then you're going to twist it right till it's tight and you're gonna to need to twist the clamp with it because there's not enough space to do the Allen wrench without twisting the clamp as well. All right, that's nice and tight and as you'll notice even when the bolt is tight, this can still spin around. And that's because if you're gonna wanna attach it to something like a five gallon bucket, you need these clamps to be angled. So that's why it's called the 360 ringer is because it, you can really attach it to pretty much anything. Okay, and then once you have both clamps on and you've got it positioned where you want it to go, you just screw this until it gets tight enough to clamp really securely. Okay, the handle is really easy to install. You just take it, line it up, make sure these holes are lined up. Take the bolt, and you can go this way or this way. I'm gonna go this way so I can make sure the camera can see what we're doing. Then you're gonna put the washer on. Then you're gonna put your nut on. Make sure it's really tight. And that's it. Whenever you're attaching it to something that the metal could scratch, you're going to want to protect it with something like a towel or a sponge or I don't know, whatever you have on hand. Okay, so on each side of the ringer, you have these pins, one there, one there, and on your drain plate, you have these little grooves right there. Okay, now the trick to getting the drain plate installed is you can't do it one side at a time. If you try to do one side and then the other, it's gonna be pretty much impossible to get that in. Um, you're gonna to need to do both sides at the same time. And it looks like it doesn't fit, but that's because this is curved by design. So you're gonna to need to push it up in the middle and down on the sides like that. And then you're going to apply some pressure and it should snap in. And there you go. Okay, and then last but not least, you have your pressure adjustment knob for the top. This just basically controls the pressure of the rollers. If you wanna do thicker items, um, don't twist this on very tight. If you wanna do thinner items, twist it tighter so you can get more moisture out when you ring items through. All right, and that is it. Good job, you are all done. Um, I hope you love, love, love your ringer. And if you have any questions, concerns, problems, whatever, our customer support is amazing and they are so happy to help. So yeah, see you next time.